Hi, how are you doing Libra? And wait, wait, wanna see me look beautiful? Yeah, check this car coming in front of me. It has really nice blue lights and it's gonna make me look beautiful. I'm playing. I feel like, I feel like it's, this car is a bit, not the move. Anyway, uh, how you doing Libra? This is your reading for the next 48 hours. I really hope you're having a wonderful day. I really hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm not gonna start this reading again. So, sex to be you and uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, if this reading resonates, please be sure to come back and get more readings from me. If this reading resonates, please be sure to share it with your fellow Librans. And uh, Libra, 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 really hoping you have a wonderful day and uh, let's get started. Trust me, I'm off three bottles of coffee. Yes, I'm a fucking really running machine. And yes, I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, there might be verbal communication coming in for you. Be paying attention to the messages you might be receiving or just pay attention to what you might be hearing. I feel like there's something you really need to um, get from uh, what you're doing or just uh, that's going to help you, guide you moving on forward. There's some information that's being thrown at you and you might want to pay attention to hear today. Uh, with, the seven of, uh, with the seven of cups, I get an energy of, um, how would I say it? Um, sorry, um, uh, side effects of drinking coffee, you become so stubborn that you just take it through, through, through focus off, blah, blah, blah. I can't even speak. Anyway, with the Seven of Cups, I really feel like you might be having options around you, as always Libra, uh, you might be having opportunities opening up for you, uh, gateways, just big scores, big chances to really, um, uh, it could be opportunities that are going to allow you to do what you do, however, right now, they, I feel like they might be coming in, some and some are not, you know, you might be seeing things off the gate, however, with the Seven of Cups, there is a sense of, um, you know, you have attracted a lot of people's attention, businesses, people in your life, options, or um, opportunities, there's that opening of doors within what you do and which whatever you got going on around you. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, it's a sense of uh, also focus on your work, just keep that focus on what you're doing, you know. Options are gonna be there, people are going to be there, however, when you take off your eyes off the price and you really just uh, focus on what's going on around you, what you're attracting, that's what you lose the sight of your progress. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, what it's telling you, just keep that determination. It's like, uh, I, normally I don't give this uh, example about the Seven of Cups, but remember the Bible story about the woman uh, who turned into salt in the desert? I feel like that's the Seven of Cups. Just keep on walking forward, regardless of what talent, what, whatever uh, you do doing uh or creative or just even for fun with passion i really feel like just keep doing that you know the people you're attracting there's going to be more as you make more steps it's just like right now you just know that you're attracting a lot of people is there anything um libra needs to know You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like you might be dropping your guard uh, towards the situation. You might be becoming a bit bitchy. Uh, you might be becoming uh, even a bit less guarded. Or just you might be really um, deciding to hold what you feel within you. Uh, I don't know. Is is a sense of um, there is something you might be feeling some sort of way about. And uh, as much as... As much as you want to say something it's just like you're not you know you're dropping your guard you're really facing it however the way you might be facing it might be coming off as fake you know uh, it's still the queen of souls it's just like uh, a false image i'm sorry um i don't know um it could be also that you're dropping your guard you're no longer being defensive it's not too logical about things it's just like you're becoming free with the knight of cups i really get an energy of you might be decided to go up the love it could be somebody who you have you had your guard up in the past that you are you are releasing your boundaries on you're releasing your defenses however you still got it it's still the queen of swords in reverse it's still the queen of swords you know you as you say, mm, mm, mm. it's just like yeah i have you my guard up towards you however I'm not being as quite guarded you know i hate you but i don't really hate you as much it could be so i don't know that doesn't have to resonate for everybody i, I don't feel like it resonates for everybody it's just like it's an energy i don't know some um, with a Knight of Cups, uh, it could be somebody around you who is a bit of a rush and somebody who always comes back to offer you that cup of love. Somebody who's always, you know, just, they never stop. They have that fieriness within love. They still, you know, feel like, um, they could go, you know, 
when they're done with you to other people you know that play energy however is that sense of regardless of how much you send them away they always come back to you it's that sense and maybe in the past you i'm not gonna say much about it anyway um but with the queen of the swords in reverse i feel like you 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 quite uh dropping your guard a bit you know um uh, you have the five of wands uh i'm getting a nigga it's seven o'clock in the morning and you're going to play soccer by yourself you hate your life huh you would be surprised with how much people love the sport of soccer uh, um, with the five of wands what you gonna do score the goal by yourself ooh i have nobody to play with yeah i won the game oh jesus fucking christ i'm sorry oh my goodness Anyway, with the five of wands, I feel like you might be having tasks. You might be wanting to multitask or you might be multitasking at this point. Did that guy really wake up at six in the morning and be like, ah, at seven, I'm going to drink coffee? Because I just drank coffee. I'm going to drink coffee and go play soccer. I mean, you can't kill people's determination. If they really have determination, they do. But it's just like, really? At seven in the morning? Um six in the morning? Ah cheers mate. Uh with the five of uh wands you might be feeling different directions different pools you know you might be having a determination to get something done but like there are multiple ways to get it done you might be wanting to really work on something and there are multiple ways to really work on that uh you might be traveling uh relocating or just even moving around you're just even going for a walk um there is a sense of um there is a sense of movement you know yeah it could be also that if you can't figure something out it might be best to really just take a walk especially you uh, it might be a sense of just take a walk uh, one thing i can tell you focus on one thing at a time libra uh, with whatever is being thrown at you with whatever you have on your mind right now you know just let your mind breathe you know just focus on finishing one thing at a time don't really try to preoccupy with everything within your mind now nah, light can get done you know in one hand it's just like when you take uh when you really let your mind breathe uh, with the tasks you complete regardless of if you have 10 20 30 if you feel like they all need to be done at the same time just focus on what needs to be done one by one and i feel like it's going to be easily easy to help you is there anything um libra needs to know Yeah, I told you, that guy really has some love for soccer. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there might be a new opportunity, a new career opening up for you. Libra, like I told you, you're attracting people's attention, you're attracting a lot of opportunities. It's just a sense of how willing, how determined that you really are. Um, I'm not saying really go for it 100%, but it's just a sense of uh, there's a new opportunity coming up. To put, really, you might be putting your passion to the work. Uh, it might be something you really need to think about, um, something you really need to get in touch with yourself and, you know, just be honest with yourself. Uh, it could be a career change, it could be just a new job, but also in general. It could be something you might be studying out, because I've been seeing the Ace of Pentacles from your reading for quite about three days. Uh, something you're just studying out. It could be financially rewarding in the future, however, right now it's in its beginning stage um i feel like um there's a lot of finances that are coming in with uh, this ace of pentacles however when i say something finances coming up it doesn't mean it's gonna show off off the bat you know it needs you to really work towards it and really put in the effort to really see the uh, reward coming in for you you know um is there anything um is there anything um libra needs to know Is there anything Libra needs to know? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You have the page of wands. I told you, there's some communication that needs to take place. It could be uh, with somebody, a message might be coming again. It could be with, oh wow, somebody somebody who, want, who wants to offer you stable um, 
a, a cup of love, or just a cup with passion, you know, uh, just an opportunity with passion as well. Uh, it could be um, somebody who truly sees you as a potential partner. Uh, with the Ace of uh, Cups, it could be uh, just somebody who's offering an opportunity that carries passion. It could be a job that you truly enjoyed. You wanna, it, it really um, lets you do what you wanna do. Um, with the Queen of Cups, it could be also somebody who just has love for you, just interest in you, who's stable within their emotions, and um, somebody might be talking to you. Really breaks my heart. I'm, I'm shitting you. Just chill the fuck out. Uh, with a queen of um, a soul. Okay. Maybe somebody who you had your guard up comes off as the Knight of Cups and uh, they go ahead to become the Queen of Cups. Uh, it could be somebody who's. Um, uh, it could be another person within your life. Libra, one thing you gotta know. Libra, one thing also I gotta keep in mind is just you have options left and right left and right you know there's always gonna be people around you whether with a page of ones that really feel like somebody who you might be talking to uh, or just somebody who you're gonna come across is is a bit loving stable settled uh, within the emotions you know uh, they're not a bit of a run around however they just have um, a sense of um, love stability or just um, emotional stability within their love Um, what? Uh, okay, that's quite opposite. Okay, so Libra. Um, I'm sorry, but depression kicks in. Um, depression does kick in. But one thing that's confusing me is just like you getting in your head about something or just you feeling down about yourself uh, and the sun is here there's happiness here so let me just say something that maybe might help you okay um, I'm not the best at expressing my emotions or how I feel so I'm gonna try to make this clear as possible you know even though I don't well I'm not good with my feelings I'm truly decent at giving advice and that's what I'm gonna do best when you come to a point of just feeling depressed or where you're feeling down within yourself, you could be like, um, you're not where you want to be because that's what people have been telling me quite a lot. You know, I'm, I'm this age and I'm not moving at the pace I want to move at. I'm this, I'm not who I want to be. I'm just, I'm making this and this. I'm feeling down, you know, I'm feeling judged by myself. I'm feeling, you know, just people are judging me best of what I do. Or oh, even I'm um, mental stress within the uh, efforts I'm putting in within life. Libra, let me tell you one thing, okay? One thing I know from you is that you're loyal, okay? Um, and I just want to say one thing. I'm truly... Was that the cops who were watching me? Damn, nigga. Shit. I just escaped some jail time. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm about to rob, to rob this coke on the table. Oh no, Jesus. Okay, I can't focus. Alright, let me get this done. So, Libra, you're loyal. And everybody, nobody, everybody, okay, I want to say everybody who's good is not that good. However, one thing I can say is that you're good enough, Libra. And I'm not saying that best of um, just trying to be a fucking play or just trying to sugarcoat you or anything. Libra, just being honest between me and you, there is this sense of people really never get to know you. They see you outside and they want to judge you. And that judgment might be quite bad. You know, it might be having a bad reputation. People might be really thinking you about you the wrong way. But who gives a shit? You know yourself. You know who you are. You know who, what your morals are. If somebody don't love you for you, fuck them. They're not the price. You are the price. Regardless of how good they look, regardless of how gorgeous they look. They're not the price. They ain't shit. Even the most beautiful sign ever, Leo, 
Have you ever seen an ugly Leo? No. But are Leos perfect? No. Never. Capricorns. Fucking, well, perfect in every way we go. Are we perfect? No. Close? No. We're just some egocentric motherfuckers who put ourselves first, who think we are the best at everything. But are we really? And they're like a million people who are better than us. But that's life. That's life. You gotta learn to love yourself. One thing I do these ratings for, I don't give a shit where I'm at or what, what I gotta do to get these ratings done sometimes. You know? One thing I had to lose was a sense of ego. I don't give a shit how I look. I don't give a shit. If I wanna do something, I'll do it. If I feel like I have passion for it, if I feel like I, I'm being guided or just a, a, feel a magnetic pull, I'm gonna do it. Because it makes me happy. And it might be something that even you feel like I'm just doing it to get it done. But you did it. At least you did something. There's some people who sit on their couch all day and never get shit done. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fucking shit what they think of you? Who gives a shit? about what they think of themselves tell me who gives a shit about what they think of themselves I'm the best motherfucking artist you will ever meet in your life but does that mean shit you know does that really it's just a statement it's just I do paintings and that's it somebody is just I do that, and that's it. At the end of the day, we are humans. There is nothing special. I might even be the most famous individual in this world. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're still a person. If it comes to love, if it comes to really caring about somebody, if it comes to investing emotionally in somebody, it shouldn't be about status. I mean, yo, really love status. I mean, yeah. But it shouldn't be. Because regardless of who you are, status is going to be left behind. I mean, legacy, I mean, I'm going to leave a legacy. So I'm the, that's going to be quite amazing. But it's a sense of who gives a shit. Who gives a shit if you are halfway or if you are not there. You're going to be there. Not everybody. You can't compare yourself to somebody and be like, oh, I'm going to be like them. No. Libra, you bring balance to people's lives. Not because your life is perfect, but because you see what needs to be balanced within others' lives. But not every time when you take care of somebody, somebody's going to be willing to take care of you. There's only you. There's only you in this world. I really hate when somebody gets depressed because for most, well, a good moment in my life I was. And that is, it's not a bad energy. It's a part of life, you know. It's, it's a feeling of um, just feeling shit on yourself, just, just really misjudging yourself. Because Libra, let's be honest with you, you have done a lot, you have achieved a lot. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad in people's eyes. If you feel like it's what you want to do, if you feel like you really want to do it, just do it. It don't matter who judges you. I know I I have misjudged the Libra once in my life. And I regret that the whole of my life. But you move on. You move on and just, just become better and just do better. It doesn't matter what I think of you. It doesn't matter. It's what you think of yourself. And when you feel down, and that's where my job stay, my job is, to just bring you up. I don't have to be no perfect, I don't have to be no fucking angel. I don't give a fuck who I am. And I wanna say I don't give a fuck about you, but I'm doing this for you. I don't give a shit, a damn, a sneeze, or a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If I feel like somebody's feeling down, if I feel like somebody needs my help, I'll try my best to be of assistance. But I will leave the status, I will leave all the determination, my ambitions, everything behind to bring balance to somebody's life. I'm not a Libra. I don't even have Libra within my charts. But I know damn well if somebody needs to be 
brought up. They need to be brought up. And Libra, when I see somebody who's feeling down, never feel down. Never feel bad about yourself. Never. Ever. Ever. Don't ever think you're not good enough. I, bro, never. Because you're more than good enough. You're more than good enough. Trust me. You might be like, oh, you're just saying that to get in my panties. Bitch, yes. But no. I have no interest. There could be a million and twenty females in this world. There could be a million and twenty. I'm not trying to get no dudes panties. Fuck that. No, I don't go that way. It's a sense of there is a million people who are just like you. Even better than you. Even worse than you. But one thing we gotta keep in mind, we people. We all humans. Nothing makes you special. Nothing should make you want to step on others. Nothing should make somebody want to step on you. If somebody doesn't love you for you, if somebody doesn't care about you for you, if somebody doesn't have interest in you for you, they're not for you. You move on and do better. It hurts. It does. Trust me. It does. But you do better. And whoever comes in knows how to treat you better. Sometimes you gotta lose to know how winning is. And sometimes you gotta lose the best to really understand what the be- the best is. People always wonder why I always say Libra in my videos. Well, nobody ever wonders, but I feel like it's about time I bring it out. I misjudged the Libra. And I, I treated her like shit because of what she did or what she does, okay? And I thought she was like everybody else, and the way Libras come off could be quite a hoish, you know. But it's not true. They're quite respectable females and quite admirable. You know, it doesn't, it's, it's just, it's just them, you know. And uh, it's just, yeah, like I said, five months and nothing. You know, I, I really don't give a shit if she ever talks to me or not, but it's the sense of, Every time I look back, I really think there is nobody better than them. You know, there is never going to be nobody better than them. I never uh, had a conversation out of her except two times, three times, or two times, just being honest. I never had that conversation out of her out of two times. But those two times were the best two times I've ever had. I've ever really communicated with somebody and felt like I'm going to let myself go. I'm really going to be myself around people. You know, and I'm I'm sorry, but even I, you know, I'm really talented. I'm really fucking amazing with the poetry and a lot of shit in my life. But I just never got a chance to really show how who I'm truly am. And it's a sense of I misjudged, and that happens. If you made a mistake in your life, I feel like what I'm going to say is just, you learn to forgive yourself. You, I've never forgive myself about that, but I'm trying to, you know. Because I really, you can't live with a burden for so long, you know. And if somebody misjudges you, you just walk away. They will learn their lesson, like I did, you know. I still live with a burden. Um, just a sense of, everybody needs balance. Everybody needs balance within their life. And Libra, everybody needs you within their life. And yeah. I'm not going to be depressed about this because I don't have feelings. But, but it's a sense of you're the best the world will ever have. You're the best the world will ever see. But even though nobody can bring you balance, sometimes you gotta realize, even if you're feeling bad about even your own happiness, it's a sense of, make your own. Surround yourself with people who make you happy. Whenever you feel down, go to that somebody who makes you feel happy. It could be a friend, partner. Never go to exes, That's, that shit is quite creepy, cause trust me, don't, just don't. Strive to have those friends. I know you Libras have friends. Um, I'm a Capricorn. I don't have friends. Watch my friends be pissed. Anyway, um, is that sense of uh, go to those who really make you happy. Feeling down ain't gonna cut it. 
I don't ever want to see you feel down. This goes to who I know and those two that I don't know. Go to somebody who you always bring balance to and try to tell them how you feel. All right, I'm gonna end the video here because um, now I feel like shit. I'm not good with my feelings, but when I express this, it's gonna be oh well, yeah. This is why I don't turn on comments because people always have something to say. I just worry about me, and give a fuck about what I have to do, and put it out there, and end of story. You know, not much. Just what I have to do, what I have to say, and then um, yeah. So yeah, Libra. Um, never feel yourself down. Never, ever, 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 ever cry about something. Especially if the Libra I know watches this video, or just any Libra in this world, or anybody in this world, I don't ever want to see you cry ever in my life. I fucked up and I live with that every day. It hurts me. And as much as I put on a guard, as much as I put on a face, it breaks my heart. Oh, who gives a shit anyway? Life goes on. Bye.